Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland, and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the correlation coefficient, R, in Excel 2010. So the correlation coefficient, R, gives us a way to measure how associated or related two variables are. Now in my data here, I've got two variables. I've got advertising spend in thousands in column B, and I've got revenue in thousands in column C. And what I'd be like to be able to do is to see, is there a statistical correlation between these two variables? Now Excel allows us to do this in two ways. Uh, first off, there is a very simple and straightforward method by using the Corel function uh, within Excel. So let's go and do that one first, and I'm going to put that over here in cell B20. B20. I've got it set up here so that uh, in here I've got R equals 2 and I need to use the Excel's formula. So check the formula ribbon across the top, go into the more function section, select statistical and scroll down here until you reach the Corel function. So this is going to give me my value of R. So select that and this displays my function arguments window and really all I've got to do to tell uh, Excel is which is my first set of data in array 1 and which is my second set of data in array 2. So in array 1, I'm just going to select all my advertising data. So notice I'm just selecting the values and not the heading. And in array 2, I'm selecting all the values for revenue. And they're now displayed in my function argument window. And I can now click OK. And this gives me, over here in cell B20, an R correlation coefficient value of 0 0.92365431. Uh, now we could stop here, and we now have the correlation coefficient r, and because this number here is so high, it's plus 0.92, uh, this is telling us straight away that there is a very strong positive correlation between advertising spend and revenue, and that correlation, of course, is, is a statistical correlation. Remember, correlation is not causation. So we could end it in there, but uh, if you're a student or you want to learn how to do this manually, uh, we need to use a formula. Over here on my right-hand side, I've got the formula for calculating R, the correlation coefficient. Now, it looks quite an awkward formula, but essentially it's made up of four parts. I'm going to point those out to you here using my red arrow. The first part up here is each value of X, which in this case here is going to be advertising, minus the mean uh, of X. And that's multiplied by the values for Y, which is my revenue figures, minus the mean of Y. And then underneath, I've essentially got the same thing. I've got my x values minus the mean of x, only this time I'm going to square it. And I've got y minus the means of y, and I'm also squaring that. My sum figure here is telling us to add up all the totals. My denominator on the bottom, I have to take the square root. And once I've got that, I can take the denominator at the top, divide by the denominator, and that should give me an r value. So let's see by using this formula if we can get the same answer as the Corel function in Excel. So I'm first of all going to look at this part over here, which is xi, the values of x, minus the mean of x. And I'm going to put that here in column D, just pointing out here. That's what I'm going to do now, is build my way across over here until I get my values down here at the end. So the first calculation I'm going to need is the mean of x. So I need to calculate the mean of the advertising. So in cell B14, I'm just going to put in the uh, formula for that, which is uh, equals average, and in brackets, all my values here for advertising, select them with my mouse, closing bracket, and press enter. So my mean of x is 1.89 euro. My mean for the revenue is uh, quite simply uh, equals average, opening bracket, select all my data for revenue, closing bracket, and press enter. So my mean value here is uh, 194. So now I've got already the values for the mean of x and the mean of y where they appear in my formula. So in column D here now, I'm going to take my values of x and subtract the mean from them. So that's quite straightforward. Type in equals here. My value of x, the first one, is this one here in cell B2, minus the mean, which is uh, down here in cell B14. Now I'm going to need some absolute values here. So if I press the F4 key, that puts the dollar sign before and after the letter B in my formula so that the mean value doesn't change and press enter. And I'm now going to use Excel's autofill tool to copy that formula down and I have now calculated this range here for all values. Let's do the same for the y's. So this is equal this time my value for revenue minus the mean of y. Press F4 to make that an absolute value and press enter. And once again use Excel's autofill tool to copy this down for the other values. 
Now I need to, as I can see in my formula, I need to multiply uh, the x's minus the mean by the y's minus the mean. So let's do that next in column F. So a very straightforward formula equals um, my d value here, multiplied by my value in the column E and press enter. And I can now copy that formula down using the autofill tool um, for all the other values. So at this stage now, I've got my figures up here and I've multiplied them all and the final thing I need to do for the top is to sum these here so that will give me my full nominator so in my uh, line 14 here I'm just going to e uh, type in my sum formula which is equal to sum all my values here in column F closing bracket and press enter so 101.95 is the value for the top part of my nominator here in my formula now let's work on the on the um, denominator part of the formula. So I need uh, the first part here is I need the means minus the, uh, the values of x minus the means and square them this time so let's do that. So here in cell g2 I'm going to type in a equals uh, x minus the mean to the power of 2 and we do that in Excel by using the hat symbol which is the symbol over the number 6 on your keyboard and uh, to the power of 2 because I'm squaring press enter and I'm going to copy this formula all the way down for the, all the other values of x advertising. Now I need to square the y's. So this is equal to um, my uh, y minus the mean, half symbol, and squared. And once again, use Excel's formula, uh, autofill tool, to copy that formula down for the rest. So I've now calculated, you can see over here, x minus the mean squared y minus the mean squared, so we've, these are the figures in here, so we can see that we need to add the sum, sum all of these up before we do anything else, so let's do that. So I'm going to put that in column G, the bottom down here, equals sum, all my values for x minus the mean of x squared, I'm closing bracket and press enter, and do the same here for my y's, so this is equal to sum, all my values of uh, y minus the mean of y squared, and press enter. So now I've got my sum of my x's minus the mean squared and the sum of the y's minus the mean of y squared. I now need to multiply those two figures by one another. So that's these two figures here, uh, pointing them out with my uh, red arrow here again. And so I've got a formula here set up in the yellow box um, to do this. So I'm going to, and so these are my sums of squares for x multiplied by the sums of squares for y. So that's fairly straightforward. Equals my value in cell G14 multiplied by my value in cell H14 and press enter. Next, the final part of the denominator is to take the square root of that figure, so I'm just going to put that on the next line in my yellow box here. Equal square roots, the formula for that is equal SQRT, opening bracket, and just click on the value above, closing bracket, and press enter. So now I have over here, 101.95 is my figure for the denominator at the top. And down here, I've got 110.376792, which is my total figure for the denominator here in the bottom. And the final thing for R is just to uh, divide one by the other. So my formula here is equals um, my one value of 101 divided by my value of 110 here, and press enter. And uh, I can check here now that Corel for, uh, the Corel formula has given me a value which is exactly the same as my manual calculation here. So the manual way has also shown um, the exact same very strong correlation, uh, positive correlation between advertising and revenue. The last thing I want to do here is to um, uh, graph my results here. So if I just select all my data over here on the left hand side and insert a scatter a diagram of this, so that's uh, in the insert choose scatter from charts and select scatter with only markers. Put that into my um, uh, spreadsheet here. You can see that there is a, a line of a trend here uh, in, the, in the chart. And I'm just going to make the um, x-axis here, format the axis and put in a minimum value of 1 just to ma uh, make it a little bit more spread out. And if I do, if I select a trend line in here by right-clicking on the data and selecting Add Trend Line, and uh, I'll select Linear here, so just to choose Close, uh, I can see what the relationship between uh, my um, uh, advertising and my revenue is. You can see it's going from uh, low bottom left up to high top right, so that indicates the direction of a strong positive correlation. And you can see there's not that much variation around the trend line in the center 
the blue dots are following a definite trend here. So I can conclude both visually here, also with Excel's Corel function, and with my manual calculation, that there is in fact a strong positive correlation between advertising and revenue. So that's how you calculate the correlation coefficient R in Excel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.